press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update from Adda247. Bell icon dabaiye, Adda247 ki sari notifications paiye. Adda247, government job in your pocket. Hello students, this is Ratnesh and you are watching the Daily Vocab Show. Once again, I am here with another 10 words and I think you are uh, expecting that words could be like easy, moderate or difficult. It, it can be, students, it is obvious. Why? Because there are so many words in the newspaper. Every day they come in a different way, in a different formation, in a different uh, form of usages. So it is very important for us to understand or realize that yes, the words have a kind of uh, utmost importance in our lives, in our in every sphere of life, isn't it, students? When if we are attached kind of thing, we are like, uh, uh, if we are like have a kind of connection to any anything in the in the world that is related to language, obviously the words have the relation or you can say her words have the importance, is it? Basically what happens, <clears throat> at times we have to prioritize our uh, requirements or our, our things which are uh, like scrambled or you can say in, in not in a proper form. So we have to prioritize them. and they come and go accordingly. So students, what is there? Exactly, we are going to discuss here uh, 10 words. And I think the random, they are random 10 words obviously, but initially uh, you will be getting more than 10 words. That is with every word out here, you will be getting uh, around three to four synonyms or one to two like around antonyms. And obviously you will be getting the usages. And I think students are finding it easier, finding it uh, very helpful and obviously by the the supportive and the fruitful comments, I am very glad and students, it is very good to see that you are responding to this and students, one thing more, uh, whenever I go through the comments, whatever you reply over there in the comments section, I do one thing that I try to upgrade the show, I, I try to make it more simpler, I, I try to take it like a, it's a kind of challenge that yes students, if the aspirants require this thing, we should add this particular thing in the show. So students, uh, now we are going to uh, understand that in this particular video, which words we have taken here. So I must write the words on the board first of all. Let's begin. The first word that I have taken students is P-R-A-T-T-L-E, prattle. The next word is P-S-Y-C-H-O-S-I-S, -S, psychosis. The third word that I have taken is S-A-V-O-R, saver. Fourth word that I have taken is D I S S I D E N T. It is descendant. And uh, fifth word students that I have taken is P L A U S I B L E. Plausible. The sixth word that I have taken is students indigent. Indigent. I hope it you are getting it. So. The seventh word that students I have taken today is P A R A N O I A. It's paranoia. The, the pronunciation could be very difficult, difficult, or you can say it's exactly complex, but it could be very diff different when we sound, when we pronounce it, that particular word. It may be, it may be different from exactly what it is, isn't it? It's paranoia. Uh, the eighth word I should write here, eighth word is prudence. Ninth word that I have taken students is I-S-L-E. I think many people are aware with the particular word that is I-L-E. It is the, uh, here you what you have to do is you have to just keep S silent. It is I-L-E. The tenth word that I have taken is students P-I-T-H, pith. So these are the exactly ten words that I have taken from the newspaper. Now it becomes very important for us to discuss every individual words individually obviously. Uh, before starting with the words, uh, let me tell you students, it is going, uh, uh, in the last last comment, uh, I remember a student was saying that, please sir, this do continue this particular show to a long stand. Yes, obviously I have, uh, I, I, I would not say that I have like, uh, uh, the kind of thing what do the fortune tellers do, actually I have thought that uh, it must go on, isn't it? So necessarily it will be there and you don't worry, just you have to like think and use the words you have to think accor according to your views what your what your perception says students because why when i write a sentence on the board it is it may be simple it may be difficult but when you are using that particular word in your uh, 
language it can be in a different way isn't it students so i think it will improve your part it will help you uh, it, it will help you in your part when you will start using these words in your daily uh, that is conversation or anything isn't it students so let me start with the first word so, so the first word that i have taken is prattle let us talk about the first one the first one is prattle and how can we use this particular word in the sentence so the sentence that i have taken here is people prattled the whole night people prattled the whole night about the death of a cat it's a simple sentence now first of all let me write the parts of speech this particular word is a verb prattle can be used as a verb and uh, the sentence it's pretty simple it says people prattle the whole night about the death of a cat now if someone is reading this particular sentence he must be thinking that sir what could be the meaning exactly when uh, people are prattling people are prattling say suppose uh, someone who does not know the meaning of prattle he may think that uh, sir prattle can be like eating prattle can be like disturbing someone prattle can be talking prattle can be related to some kind of any word that people can perform the complete night I, i mean to say that the whole night about the death of a cat so even when the topic has been mentioned it it is saying it is very simple it becomes very simple that they must be chattering about something they must be the they must be talking uselessly about the least important thing but for them it may be the death of a cat it may be an ode isn't student so here the sentence is pretty simple and i think you must have got the meaning exactly if we talk about the word prattle it's talking about something talking about something for a very for a very long duration uh, have you heard, heard about the uh, i i i don't mean mean to hurt anyone but have you heard about the, the those old ladies uh, that female uh, people uh in the villages many many places in the villages they they just start prattling and they just don't end up uh, uh, until and unless they are like uh, asked to stop and they are like okay uh, we have so many things to discuss we have so many uh, grudges to share they have so much isn't it so actually talking about something for a long duration for a long while is called prattling and uh, what can be the synonyms let's check it out the synonyms that i have taken is the first one is c h a t t e r chatter the first one the second one that i have taken is j a b b e r jabber the third one is b a b b l e babble the fourth one is gab it's not jab it's gab and uh, the fifth one that i have taken is p r a t e i hope it's pretty clear now students these are the synonyms uh, every word out here chatter jabber babble gab and prate all are related to something when you are talking uselessly for a long duration for a long while uh, with someone obviously <laughs> it doesn't uh, come out to be like a, something very fruitful but st still it's something related to when you are talking for a long while and what can be the particular uh, uh, antonym for this particular thing you can say the silence silence can be this uh, antonym the second one you can take uh, sense third you can take quiet it's simple simple enough okay so these are the new words i believe jabber babble gab and prate uh, all are the synonyms of uh, uh, prattling so students whenever you find anyone your friend your colleague your peer your any member of the family or any member of the the office you can simply say why are you prattling so much isn't it so this will be a nice way and obviously you will get to know that how can you use the word prattle so let's talk about the next word the next word here we have is again a nice word students actually the word is psychosis here p is silent and obviously it it uh, some somehow it shows something that which is related to a kind of uh, serious issue but yet i have to let you know that p s y c h o s i s now this particular word can be used as a noun in the sentence and uh, one thing more how can we use this word uh, the sentence that i have taken here is uh, are one of the colleagues one 
voz. Diagnosed. With. P.S. Y. C. H. O. S. I. S. Now psychosis. One of our, uh, our one of the colleagues that is one of our colleagues was diagnosed with psychosis. So psychosis exactly uh, is a very simple word which shows a very serious. You can say a very serious mental illness. Okay, are you getting soon? So, uh, some kind of mental illness when so, some person is suffering from a mental illness and he is suffering very serious, uh, seriously that he is unable to think, he is unable to uh, respond correctly or whatever he is being told, he is not able to understand and obviously person should, like say suppose I am telling you something, you are able to understand that thing and you are able to grab it, obviously. And obviously you can respond to that thing in the simple manner, you won't uh, quibble. So, uh, you can say you are not, the P person was uh, obviously suffering from the psychosis. So, here we can use simple words. So, what are the words that I have taken here? Uh, the first one is, that is synonym. I am writing here synonym. The first word is insanity. People may say that he is a fool, but actually you have to use a different word. Lunacy. L-U-N-A-C-Y. Lunacy. The third word you can say is depression too. Why depression? Because depression can also cause a kind of mental illness. People, if uh, it's a very uh, true statement, so, uh, indeed I should tell you that if someone goes uh, under the kind of depression for a very longer period of time, depression can, uh, it's not kind of, uh, I have uh, heard many times people say that what is depression? Depression actually is not something about uh, when you are depressed with the kind of uh, in the financial terms, in the terms of affection, it can be without any, uh, like, uh, you can say, uh, uh, confirm uh, perspective. Yes, I, I, use, I should use the word that is a specific uh, uh, phase because depression can be in any form. It can be in any, any uh, thing, isn't it? Uh, so, depression is also a kind of mental illness. Uh, anyone can suffer from this. So, you should be aware of this word that is depression. So, what uh, the word we can take uh, else? The fourth word here we can take is uh, madness. Madness is the uh, uh, quite vague word, but still you can take this word. And uh, what can be the antonyms? Now let's check it out. The first antonym that I have taken is mental health. Mental health, fine. The second word is affection. First word is mental health. The second word is uh, affection. So uh, let's... Uh, Proceed to the third word. The third word that I have taken students is savor. Just keep on uh, taking the screenshots because everything I have written on the single screen so that you can uh, take the one screenshot and you would get uh, everything in the same click. How? Because you will be getting the same, in the same click you will be getting the word, parts of speech, synonyms, antonyms, usage. Isn't it? That's clear. So the third word we have is S-A-V-O-R, savor. How can we use this word? We can use this word as a noun. Uh, what is the sentence that I have got here with uh, me? I have got the sentence with the presence of his wife, with the presence of his wife, uh, his life has Savor for him. Now, what does it mean? With the presence, uh, jokes apart, people may think that with the presence of his wife, the savor would have lost. No, actually, it says the with the presence of his wife, his, uh, his life has savor for him. Savor is exactly kind of taste or interest. You can say in two uh, dimensions, you can use this word. You can use uh, this word in the form of taste or you can say in the form of interest. Are you getting students? So exactly here, the presence of his wife is proving out to be the kind of interest in his life. His life is uh, not uh, actually disinteresting, but it is interesting. So he means to say here that it is very good. Everything is fine. Fine. So actually, savor can be used also in the form of uh, taste, good taste. So what are the synonyms that we should take here? I have taken the word uh, relish. Relish is a nice word, students. The second word that I have taken is uh, uh, taste. 
obviously you should understand with the help of word taste because it is related to the word taste zest there is a word uh, i i think you must have heard the word zest this is also related to kind of interest and uh, the good good taste something which is good uh, fourth is drive drive why 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 the word drive i have taken because drive is also something which makes you uh, attracted towards something when which makes you like kind of full of energy isn't it so the fifth word we we can take is flavor so these are the five words exactly you have to take it down uh, or you can take the screenshot antonym what can be the antonym you can simply say dislike can be the antonym and students one word is disfavor also you remember uh, that uh, disfavor can be the uh, perfect antonym to the word that is relish taste zest dry flavor that is savor fine so let's proceed to the third after the third we should proceed to the fourth word the fourth word that we are going to take here students is uh, dissident ah again Dissident is a nice word. In fact, how can we use this word and what can be the parts of speech? Uh, let's check it out. The fourth word is D I S S I D E N T. Fine. So, dissident can be used as an adjective. First of all, what is the sentence? The sentence that I am going to take here is No one wants dissident. elements in his life now if the sentence is saying no one wants it means it is something which is not useful it is something which is not good isn't it very simple word so uh, dissident elements who never who never elements those kind of animal who are uh, not an animal but those kind of elements who never agree with anyone who are not satisfied who are uh, always you can say they are like disagreed they are not happy they are like discontented this kind of people so you can say dissident fine are you getting students so who never agree you can say those elements are dissident so no one wants dissident elements in his life now fine so what can be the synonyms so synonyms that i have taken here students let me tell you the first one is r e c u s a n T recusant. It's a nice word. Recusant. The second word that I have taken is rebel. R e b e l rebel. The third word that I have taken is non. Con. Formist. Non conformist. Again, the fourth word that I have taken is insurgent. insurgent and the fifth word that i have taken is d i s s e n t e r the center so these are the five words that you can take as an synonym as a synonym and in the case of antonym i am writing the word agreeing fine agreeing can be the uh, synonym and uh, one is more affirmative So these are the antonyms. These are the synonyms. This is the sentence. I hope this dissident meaning of dissident is uh, simple. It is disagreeing with someone is not that is someone who is discontented or you can say disagreeing, not agreeing with everyone. Fine. So let's proceed to the fifth word. The fifth word that we have taken here is. Let me write the word. The word is pretty simple. It says plausible. P L A U S I B L E. Fine. How can we use this word? We can use this word as an adjective. What is the example? Example that I have taken students is everything. Everything is plausible. It is simply. It is. It is simply saying that something which is. possible I, i i am telling the meaning but exactly you will read the sentence and you get to know that exactly it is that everything is possible if you try it with your full efficacy uh, students if you uh, are watching the shows 
regularly and precedent precedent to this show if you remember they uh, had used a word efficacy and efficacy is a nice word uh, to show your efficiency to to show you how efficient you are so exactly it says everything is possible if you try it to, with your full efficacy and obviously it is true because when we give 100% to anything we'll get finally it is very sure it is very sure and hence proved even i have tried if you try anything anything in this world with your uh, with full zeal with your full 100 you, when you give the input kind of 100% input you will get the result 100% it is the fact and uh, now the question is if it is clear so what can be the synonyms the synonyms that i have taken are very simple now uh, the word is believable b e l i e v a b l e believable the second word <coughs> that i have taken students is reasonable r e a s o n a b l e reasonable the third word is <coughs> credible okay fine this is the word credible the fourth word is uh, probable now every word is simple and i hope everyone knows the meaning of word probable so what are the uh, antonyms that i have taken antonym are doubtful the second word is unlikely okay students these are the five uh, these are the four synonyms and these are the two antonyms that we have taken here and you can easily connect with these words that is plausible is related to something which is believable which is reasonable where you can trust where you can agree with something you are not discontented obviously and in the antonyms you can take doubtful and unlikely fine now let's proceed to the next word that next word that we have taken here is again a nice word students i i should say so what is the word exactly the word that i have taken is indigent sixth word is indigent i n d i g e n t indigent fine so how can we use this word indigent you can use as an adjective now what is the sentence the sentence is we provide free education we provide free education for indigent people fine we provide free education for indigent people and obviously everyone uh, would get to know that if we are providing free education for someone he may not be able to afford the the his studies or academics or anything in his life obviously the person will be uh, would be poor isn't it so the someone who is uh, uh, with the lack of financial abilities so you can simply say the word indigent here so uh, i hope it's uh, pretty clear now you can write here lacking money lacking money and what can be the synonyms the synonyms that you can take students uh, are actually penniless penny is according uh, to english a uh, penny word is related to kind of a, a, a part of uh, the money you can say it's kind of currency that you pay to someone in very short a uh, very small uh, amount the second word that we are uh, we are taking is im impoverished impoverished i hope uh, you remember this particular word this is related to a poor condition of poor people needy who are in need of financial help and uh, a nice word you should use impecunious now this word if you will use this word impecunious this will sound very differently with the word uh, the rather other word that is penniless impoverished and needy indigent is a nice word yes you can use impecunious you can use im i m p e c u n i o u s this is also related to the condition that is uh, and in the sense of antonym you can simply take what you can take uh, prosperous p o r s prosperous p e p e r o u s prosperous fine so the next word you can take is affluent this can also be the antonym affluent affluent is full of like everything where we full not exactly one who has everything that is the prosperity and uh, the wealth and everything related to money yeah financial conditions so indigent is a simple word which is related to lacking money penniless impoverished needy and pe in pecunious fine this is the sentence let's proceed to the seventh word the seventh word students that we have uh, we are going to discuss here that i have taken is a simple word uh, in fact uh, again you will be getting a related word you can say a uh, few students may think that sir this is a uh, is it somehow related to the previous word the word is p a r a n o i a paranoia 
the paranoia word is a noun first of all let me tell you it's a kind of problem <coughs> again the mental problem but exactly how we can use is uh, here i have the sentence the sentence is she was uh, diagnosed with delusional it's delusion it's related to delusion paranoia paranoia so if someone was diagnosed with the delusion paranoia you uh, uh, i think you can understand that this is some uh, related to kind of uh, mental issues fine so it's a, a sim similar word you can say uh, earlier i had also written the word psychosis so you can say exactly sir this is a kind of uh, not exactly synonym but this word can be related to psychosis if to that extent a person reach when he it becomes this this word becomes uh, a kind of mental disease fine mental illness so now what can be the synonyms the synonyms that i have taken taken are students what is what is the synonym delusion delusion can be the first one second one can be suspicion suspicion and what can be the four, third one four, third one i am taking the same one it's psychiatry is related to mental issues psychiatry and fourth is dread it's not dead it's dread d r e a d dread is also when we you are confused when you are, don't understand things uh, when you have a kind of issues that is related to uh, your mind fine and uh, what can be the antonyms students antonym you can take uh, is sanity when you are well and fine well and sound you can say right mind fine so these are the uh, antonyms and these are the synonyms so let's proceed to the next word the eighth word that we are going to discuss here students is again a different word so the eighth word is prudence p r u d e n c e prudent fine uh how can you use it you can use as it as a noun <coughs> so prudence uh, is the noun part of speech is noun and uh, what can be the sentence sentence you, we can take is you should work out your financial issues with prudence in every phase uh, i think it's a simple uh, statement it says that when we are talking about the financial issues uh, and it is also uh, trying to tell you that you have to deal out uh, with your financial issues prudently so it means i think you are uh, able to get the, this this is saying that you should deal out everything that is related to financial matter indeed i should say uh, uh, every uh, matter out there if it is related to your academic issues or your financial issues or your family issues or your relationship issues anything you should deal out uh, those issues very prudently that is cautiously i could uh, say now what is cautiously so cautiously is related to uh, caution that is preca uh, not precaution but it is something when you do it carefully so prudence is related to kind of careful judgment in simple words you can say careful judgment so if it is related to careful judgment what can be the synonym students synonym that i have taken here the first one is caution c a u t i o n caution the second one we can take is wisdom wisdom is also when person is wise he is uh, able to take decisions properly isn't it so wisdom is also there the third one is circumspection s c i r c u m s p e c t i o n what is circumspection when you circumspect things when you try to judge them when you try to understand or you can say when you try to uh, Uh, draw uh, draw out inferences what is drawing drawing out inferences tools it means actually when you are trying to judge out something when you are trying to uh, reach out something or you are trying to conclude that uh, these are the things these are the situations and i am judging out that these things can be uh, the, these can become good this can become miserable you can say in the simple terms so that is the condition of circumspection i, I hope you have got the fourth word that i have taken is f r u g a l i t y frugality that is frugality you can say 
so frugal is also related but frugality is a word which is related to kind of a uh, very uh, thoughtful approach fine so what can be the antonym let us check it out if we have uh, the antonym you can take is rashness r a s h n e s s i hope it's clear rashness is when you are very fast when you are not careful when you are in hurry when you do things wrong when things go wrong and imprudence i m p r u d e n c e now let's uh, quickly proceed to the ninth word just take the screenshot students let's proceed to the ninth word the ninth word that i have taken here is again a simple word the word is a i s l e that is i it can be used as a noun the sentence is she walked down the aisle i hope everyone who has uh, traveled in a aeroplane in an aeroplane must know the word aisle i think everyone knows but if someone doesn't know uh, try to understand that aisle is a kind of passage side of fine it is the kind of passage where you walk through the uh, aeroplane between the two rows so aisle this is the word it's a simple word now let's talk about the synonyms without talking much about this particular word because this is very simple synonyms i have taken the words are pa path that is path the second word is alley a double l e y alley and the third word students you can take is gangway isn't it a nice word it's quite different gangway yes you can take indeed this is also a lane simple lane that is the lane of your place avenue yes many people may have heard this word but they uh, won't be uh, won't be knowing uh, they, they they don't know about the word that avenue can be uh, related to the word aisle because this is also to a kind of path or pathway that is gangway is a nice word avenue lane alley and path so is there any kind of antonym yes you can say antonym can be the room room is the antonym and any el uh, else word other word repeal you can take repeal so room and repeal are the two words that you can take as what you can take them as your antonyms is that clear so let's proceed to the 10th word the last word of the video the last word of the video that i have taken here is the word is pit ah uh, it is a noun what is the sentence the sentence is we reached to the pit of the discussion i think a uh, uh, few people out there may be able to connect with the sentence because the sentence is pretty simple it says we reached to the pith of the discussion now now if i say pith uh, of the discussion we have reached so it can be in the sense of the end of the discussion because this is the 10th word and we are at the pith of the discussion no not this sense this the sense of the word pith comes as if you have reached to the very crucial part or very important part of the discussion or decision exactly when you are talking to someone and you are getting to know that uh, exactly we, now we are reaching to some some kind of uh, uh, the 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 uh, essence of uh, the discussion has uh, Im immediately emerged or you can say this had this it has it has become very efficient it has become very important so you can say the core the essence the the crucial part of any discussion or any healthy discussion is the essence that is the pith of that particular thing so pith can be used uh, to say Uh, students important part uh, students are you getting what is the meaning of pith uh, i have uh, tried to uh, connect you uh, all but if you are not able to understand i think you will be able to understand because it is a simple word which says something which is very important the essence the crucial part the important thing of about anything the any any discussion or anything is related to pith fine so the synonyms that we can take here students are the first one is core 
look these uh, these synonyms are also in the same sense heart third word is essence marrow marrow is a nice word i, I think many may not have heard and the fifth word is k e r n e l Def definitely this word is a new for everyone kernel it's k e r n e l kernel you should take it down students don't forget to take it down this antonym i have taken is baseness b a s e n e s s fine so this is the word baseness and demeanor d e m e a n o r demeanor so demeanor is also a word which is not very important which is not very core which is not uh, the essence of any discussion or any kind of thing so these are the 10 words students okay now we have reached to our conclusion and before ending the video i must say that the hindi version of this particular video is also available just don't forget i have uploaded that too and thanks for watching the video thank you so much students press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update from ada 247 बेल आइकन दबाइए अदा टू फोर सेवन की सारी नोटिफिकेशन पाइए अदा टू फोर सेवन गवर्नमेंट जॉब इन योर पॉकेट